We've all heard the alarms, read the reports, seen the evidence. We're all aware that changes need to be made, that we need to clean up, recycle, and look to renewable resources for our future energy needs. Wind power is just one sustainable energy source that can help alleviate our economic dependence on fossil fuels and minimize our negative environmental impact. Sailboats have used wind energy for thousands of years. Until 150 years ago, sailboats were the only means to haul cargo and people across the oceans. Modern sailboat technology holds the promise of utilizing wind power to once again provide a green alternative to ocean travel and ocean research. A pioneering example, the Derrick M. Bayless, is an innovative 65-foot research vessel designed by renowned naval architect Tom Wiley and built with his partner Dave Wally. The Bayless is changing the way scientists and environmentalists access, experience, and ultimately understand our world's oceans. Exploring uh, the oceans in old surplus military ships, which is how it's done now, is like roaring into the rainforest in a Hummer just to study butterflies. Tom Wiley is more than a naval architect with over 60 designs to his credit. He is a force of nature, for nature. Well, because these sails are actually wing shapes like an airplane wing, they're airfoils. For the last 20 years, this Bay Area designer has been an outspoken advocate of environmental cleanup, preservation, and sustainability, particularly as it applies to the oceans. When I met Tom Wiley, I just thought, this person is the John Muir of the sea. He really gets that big picture. And here's a fellow that he could just be making, designing the fanciest ships in the world for the, you know, the wealthiest people. But it's the sense of giving back, of doing something to make the world a better place in which to live. We need to work with Mother Nature, not against her. If we care to halt climate change and stop uh, environmental degradation, using uh, renewable fuels is not an option, it's a mandate. Sailors like Wiley, who have traversed the oceans many times over many years, have seen the problems firsthand. Toxic waste, oil, plastic, killing sea life, poisoning the food chain. In the Pacific alone, the North Pacific Gyre, a swirling area larger than the size of Texas, is today known by another name, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The oceans have been a dumping ground and the ecosystem has paid the price. In 2000, Wiley decided that it was time for action. He designed and built a 65-foot catch-rigged research vessel that combined the best of the old and the new. Efficient workspace, comfortable accommodations, clean deck layout for conducting all manner of experiments, long-range capability, but at the same time, non-polluting, quiet, and, not incidentally, fun to work aboard. Tom Wiley designs start with low resistance hulls, which mean they move very quickly and smoothly through the water. The Bayless has a modern sail design, Wiley's wishbone boom and freestanding carbon masts, which self-adjust to minor changes in wind. This type of rig has been proven in all of Wiley designs and tens of thousands of nautical miles, including two round-the-world races. As a result of the simple rig and layout, the Coast Guard allows the Bayless to be operated by two people while carrying up to 49 passengers offshore. When the wind doesn't blow, the Bayless, under engine alone, uses 1 20th the fuel of a similar-sized motor vessel. Traveling at 10 knots, it can cover 1,200 miles. That's halfway to Hawaii from the West Coast. The pilot house is the nerve center of the boat. While the forward section is given over to navigation, the larger part of the space serves as a classroom, galley, laboratory, or office, depending on the mission. The large aft deck and titanium A-frame can be used in various configurations for people and equipment based on specific needs. For example, while white shark tagging at the Fairlawns every year, Barbara Block brings aboard the 18-foot Wiley designed Stacy and uses the tender while the Bayless stays on station. The Stacy cruises at the same speed as a Boston Whaler, on one-third the fuel and one-third of the horsepower. 
An ongoing summer mission of the Bayless is taking visitors to the Monterey Bay Aquarium out for short marine ecology sales. Surveys have disclosed that one of the highlights of these trips is the sailing itself. Beyond the efficiency and green aspects, educators and researchers of the future need to sail. They need to understand the harmony that is felt when wind and waves meet each other. And this is what I mean by working with Mother Nature. It is a fundamental understanding that you just cannot get inside a old steel military ship conceived to wage war as opposed to a design conceived to gently explore Mother Nature. The renewable energy revolution is here, and sailing is showing how new ways of thinking can be used to solve old problems. Using wind instead of fossil fuels, working with nature instead of against her. The technology is here to put a fleet of wind-powered vessels to work with a minimal footprint, minimal fuel costs, and maximum harmony.